For the next three days, we are going to be packing hardcore for Korea. Yes, you guys, I'm so excited for our trip. Today is Monday and we leave on Thursday. But the only issue is right now is that baby boy doesn't have a passport. So I set an appointment for him on Wednesday, the day before we leave, in hopes that we can get a passport for him. I set a day of appointment. The only issue is, is that, um, well, basically, how do I explain this? Because he doesn't have a name, I don't know how they're gonna like act at the passport agency office and whether or not they're gonna actually give us a passport for him that doesn't have a name on it. But anyway, we're packing, packing, packing praying to God and hoping that on Wednesday, everything will go smoothly, we'll get his passport, and Thursday, we'll just leave right away. Yo, they better give me this passport, or that means that we're not leaving on Thursday, and then we're gonna have to reschedule the trip. Good morning. This is a big time for Joe, obviously, because it's his first time going to Korea. This is a big time for everyone in my family, but especially the little kids who are also half Korean because they get to experience their Korean culture and see where they came from for the first time. My older girls are super excited to leave out the country. They are just ready to go. This is their first time, so they're super, super crazy excited. And I'm so excited. I wanna go to Korea, but mainly I wanna see Joe. Joe, mainly I wanna see you in Korea. I wanna see what you're gonna be like or be doing. We don't know. He's uh, he uh, he 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 acting like he he don't want to. He don't care. But when he gets there, it's gonna be a different story. But the one thing is, I do know is when I go up to this passport agency, these people better issue my baby that passport because I already looked. If they don't have a name, they can just write unknown on the first name. Also, some people just don't have. For last names. A lot of people don't have last names in different, you know, from different places. And a lot of people just use their last name as their first name. So if you only have one name, you're supposed to just write one name. So currently he only has one name. So there shouldn't be an issue. All they have to do is write down his last name on the paper and that's in his first name position and that should be his name or something like that. So it should be able to be done, but y'all know we dealing with these fed offices. They don't be trying to give you what you asked for, but I printed out all my papers. I got all the receipts, I have all the documentations. And another way they're supposed to do it, like if there's like a dash or something like that running on their name, like for example, his first name on his birth certificate says dash, like the, the symbol dash. So they can also just write out D-A-S-H because that's literally what it says on the birth certificate. So they better not play with me, that's all I know. We're not leaving to Fort Korea? Well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, Maya, don't even. You did all your courses, your classes, Akali, before we left. You fit up, you did all your stuff, Akali. Akali, you did all your stuff. You did all your work before we get on that plane. I'll do it on the plane, probably not. We're going to Korea in like two days. Two days, days. yes. And you're... Wait, wait, no. Wait, I know, look. It got so frizzy. How many hours did it take you to do 12. this? Twelve. Twelve hours, girl? Your hair is out. What are we going to do with that? We're going to moisturize it, detangle it. It's going to be cute. What you going to do with your hair for Korea? Uh... Wash it and spray it. Hold up. Uh-uh. No, you didn't just come over here bringing your kids you to get their hair done. My kids are supposed to do it. My little kids' hair, not your little kids' hair. You said you was gonna do your kids' hair, not your, my kids do your little kids' hair. First of all, they're only finishing it. As I was doing the beads. Akiba, this is a whole more hair. Hours. This is the one person. Are you gonna pay her? Yes, are you gonna pay them for doing your kids' hair? No, because they're my children. These are basically my children. You wish. She can't spend three hours doing their hair. Oh, that's good. Guess what? You know we're going to Korea? Yeah. You ready? We're gonna get packed today. Huh? Bring your stuffies. Bring my stuffies. And I have a surprise for you today. What? Let me go get it, okay? I'll be right back. So I made my family each one of these little travel surprise goodie bags. It has 
a brand new toothbrush, two little empty travel boxes, and a spray deodorant for the older girls. And for the younger kids, they have brand new toothbrushes, and I'm gonna put a couple other things in there. Yeah, so each person is going to get a little baggie that they can put their carry-on things in. I got you. Which one? Hmm. I missed it. I want this one. Yes, Paul put your toothbrush for our trip to Korea. Do you like it? Yeah. Yes, and we're gonna put all your good stuff in there. We're gonna put all your little stuff you need, your your combs and your hair stuff for Korea so that you can have stuff to do your hair with, okay? Yeah. So we gotta pack everything. So uh, hold on to that, okay? But mommy, where's the toothpaste? I'm gonna put the toothpaste in this sh shortly. And these are your sisters. Let's go give these to them. Okay. You want to give them? them? Okay. Give them Maya hers. Maya, these, this is for you. Oh, uh, this one is for you. Okay. You can pick. I made a pink one, a green one, and a blue one. Pink. <gasps> oh, it's pink toothbrush. What is this, bro? Thank you. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> you got it. Last pick. Well, you got first pick of the suitcases. Didn't you? Yeah. How about Audrey and Audrey and Elzo? Yeah, they're going to get those too, okay? Ugh. Are you sure, Mommy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why do I have a suitcase, you may ask? Because I'm packing for Korea. But I have my own personal packing list and everything that I'm trying to complete. Right now, let me just show you what my suitcase looks like. My suitcase is pretty much empty, and it's humongous, by the way. Look at that. But why is it so empty? Well, because I want to buy a whole bunch of stuff. But we're in Korea, so I'm making sure I have plenty of space. I packed most of the clothes that I want to bring and wear for the first couple of days um, before I buy anything. And then back here, I have all my computer and filming supplies that I'm going to need to pack in a separate bag. So I'm going to have this bag and then a tiny bag. So I... I'm gonna be filming a couple of videos in Korea, so make sure you watch my videos because they're gonna be so cute. See, wootsy. And let's go to Azile. I don't think it's hit me that we're actually like going to Korea. Yeah, like, we're going days. to Korea in like in three days. days. No, in exactly. three days. Exactly. I can't believe it. Okay, let's go. We got it. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely not sharing the suitcase. I actually got a second pick. This is your suitcase. Yeah, you got the blue one. Mine's purple. Have you seen mine? I don't like the colors. It's gorgeous. Mine's gorgeous too. Uh, yeah, sure. sure. Okay, um, so she's not prepared, obviously, like always. All her clothes okay, are just nowhere. So. Oh, and she's so also is not I'm prepared. prepared. To Korea. And so I'm the only I'm one bringing, who is prepared to go to Korea. I am bringing this to Korea. This no, is happy. No, no, you're not. So you're not. Okay. Um, but Audrey put Ew. lipstick on him. Okay, you're not bringing that to Korea. Also, we you can bring this stuffy. She no, said she said you could. can buy one no, in Korea. She said we can back. bring it. Why would you? I'm bringing you, my BTS poster. You're bringing your BTS poster? This poster my friend okay. gave me. So as you can see, they're obviously not prepared. As I obviously doesn't know what she's bringing, what she's not bringing. All right, so I need to get the GoPro that is not mine. But, you know, I'm just going to steal it. <laughs> and so I can use it in Korea because I think it's going to be super cute to use this in Korea. And even though the actual quality of, like, hearing is terrible, I'm still gonna use it. Hello. You're such a potato. You're such a big chubby potato. Time to pack for Korea. This is before. We're gonna make this really, really aesthetic. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm trying to like not overpack, but like also like when I get there, who knows? Will the outfits look good or will they be like really crusty? So I'm just gonna like bring everything. I have three skirts in that pile, two jeans. I might bring these, but I'm not sure. This looks really pink and kind of kawaii. It's a little bit dirty, but <laughs> nobody needs to know. Um, Akali, as I was going through your clothes for Korea. Yeah, no, I'm not. Well, actually, my mother said she would buy me clothes there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, is that, you're not wearing any of my clothes to Korea because I'm wearing all of them. You're not gonna wear like all of these. Like it's two weeks. It's two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah, it's two weeks. Guys, I'm actually wearing this Korea. <laughs> you are not wearing booty shorts. Those are literally booty shorts. No. And it's gonna be cold outside. Wait, what? Those are yours. I bought these for you. That's why you I keep did? telling you. Yes. These are mine from Sheen, bro. Oh, but as I could wear them. Not for this trip. I have. I literally have. I have like five pairs. Not you have like nothing. Pants. I literally you have. have like, I don't have any long pants. I have one pair. I have those pairs of jeans, and I have one pair. You have of like leggings. no clothes. No, you have like no clothes. No, it's not. She has like no clothes. Yeah, she has like no clothes. She has no clothes. This, this, all of these shirts, all of those shirts, and all of these shirts. Who has all of these shirts? My shirts. This is all school clothes, and then these. I could wear this. I could wear this. This isn't really like. This is like. No, uh. That's Jesus y. This is like. N like. Mm -mm. Mm. This is like too warm. This is Christmas. This is Christmas. This is too fancy. No, that's cute, girl. They wear the stuff like that in Korea. That's, that's true. cute. If you have the right. Like, this is bottom. a Kylie's. This doesn't even fit me anymore. This is all dresses that. I mean, I could probably. Uh, this one's cute. Bit. You should wear this one. I you should try to. At least take it. At, at least. No, they dress like this in Korea. I'm telling you. I know. They. Anyways, this is mine now. This is my video. This is my channel. Here's some more of my clothes. So, let's go through them. They're definitely still wet, but it's okay. This skirt, probably gonna wear it to Korea. Put that down there. These, I got as a Christmas gift, which they bought from Daiso. They're literally so cute. I'm gonna wear these to Korea. My black flannel, I'm gonna wear it to Korea. I have more than one aesthetics. Like, I'll literally wear like anything. Like, maybe one day I'll be like super kawaii and I'll be like wearing a skirt. And then maybe like the other day I'll just wear like jeans. Um, I actually don't know who these are, but I'm gonna go with it because I'm gonna try getting into like brown clothing because like that's really like aesthetically pleasing. Wow, this is this. I'm definitely gonna wear it. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to wear it. This is crusty, but it's kind of cute. So I'm gonna wear it. This is minus. But I feel like I could put like something under this and make it look cute. You know? You know? Bro, I have like five of these skirts. My turtleneck, I'm gonna be wearing this like every day. It literally matches with like literally all my outfits. It's like white and it looks like this. Yeah, this is like a definitely, I'm definitely gonna bring this Korea. This is a Kylie's. She's probably gonna wear it. So I can't bring it to Korea. Let's go pack for Korea. So here we've got the clothes I'm gonna wear to Korea. But I have to sort them because I can't bring all of them because I'm gonna buy clothes in Korea. Right, because then we're gonna buy stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff. Where are your parents? Are you waiting <coughs> to yourself? Don't forget to bring your hanboks. Obviously. Why would you go to Korea and not bring your hanbok? Bro, why do we Everybody, need it? What do you mean? We're gonna go to like a town where there's like old, old like old style stuff and everybody's gonna be walking around in humble so we don't wanna be the people like weird foreigners, not weird foreigners, but the, we don't, we don't <laughs> wanna be like the rest of the foreigners like buying their humbugs and stuff. Bring your humbug is all I'm saying. Bring it. It's gonna be so cute. Seriously, bring it. Ooh, potato. I'm joking, you're cute. Bubbas. Butters. You ready to go to Korea? Yeah. So I bought the girls new suitcases because we didn't have any carry check luggage this is their check luggage i bought this extra super duper oh sorry large luggage and right here you guys it's like to hang your other bag that you're gonna have for your black bag so you're gonna bring this right and because this is super big you don't need to bring a full another suitcase so you need to bring this with you and you need to bring like a size thing that's like a book bag or a purse size thing like Can this yes this book bag would work something like this but we're, what we don't want to do is like bring a humongous, big, huge bag. Not even that big. So find something that's like smaller or if you need it, something additional, I can get that. Oh, can you, can I download Netflix on my iPad so I can watch it? There's Korean TV on the airplane. Korean TV? Korean TV. <laughs> I'd rather watch nothing. I you rather watch should, nothing? You should get us yeah. those phones where you can only text and call so we can like text and call you or just a regular one. You see what this camera's doing? Yes. It's shaking yes. the head. No. Yes. Yeah, no, I'll get you guys phones when we get to Korea. Maybe one or two. Actually? Like Korean phones, like that for a little bit. 
like little cheap little text my mom if you guys are going out in the town she doesn't if you guys are don't be a what what you don't trust me kylie fuck kylie you don't trust your mother no because you say that all the time they never do she does though I'm getting my daughters some type of devices that they can contact me in Korea because I love you and I don't want you to get took. We should get one of those translator things. No, what you should get is all those Korean lessons that I got you and re-download that into your head. Okay, you guys. So I bought a new luggage pack. This is Briggs and Riley, it's really a lifetime warranty, but me and Joe earlier this week, we just put all of our stuff in here like that we would ever possibly bring to see if it would fit in here. But now that I realize because it's full, Joe's gonna need to get his own luggage. Yeah. He's gonna need to get his own luggage. So I just, I didn't know what I was gonna wear or whatever. So I'm just gonna take out their stuff. That's all of my stuff. And I need room in here. Yeah, I plan to bring stuff back from Korea, specifically children's pajamas, children's underwear, socks, accessories, okay. books, like yeah. poor old Korean books that like make noise and stuff like that, like yeah. educational materials. Mm -hmm. And they said face masks are like a really cheap there. Oh. Yeah, and like and facial, Korean facial, Korean face stuff. Their, their face yeah. up is really good. Yeah. So these are all my clothes. That's too many clothes. How many jackets are you gonna bring, Keeps? Do you feel like you need to be fashionable since you're going to Korea? As a matter of fact, I do. I would, <laughs> I'm not going to go there looking shot. Exactly. I, not, I, see, I don't mind looking a little bit shot, but I'm not going to go obvious shot. I so feel I like since, I, since I'm black, like I cannot. You cannot? <laughs> well, I can't go out looking like I normally do. Right. Because right. they don't see a lot of black people, so right. I have to, you know. So like I just got basic stuff. This is yeah, just a black nice. dress that I'm gonna wear with different things over top of it. Probably I'll probably wear this like at least twice okay. with different jackets on top of it. Did you look up Korean Korean fashion before you went? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I was in a mom's group and someone was asking, what should I wear? I feel really bad going to Korea wearing my t-shirt, my hoodies, and my right. sweatpants. They were like, no, you can't wear that. Yeah. Cause like everyone is like gonna be wearing like corporate right, casual exactly, basically. Exactly. I was like, ooh, we can yeah. get away with that hair in the back. Yeah, we can wear sweats, wear yoga sweat pants, every day. yoga pants. Exactly. Yeah, she was like, can I wear my workout clothes? They were like, nope. But I am. I don't care. So I'm what are you going to wear? I don't have corporate clothes. Corporate, yeah. I got but like fashion-y fashion -y clothes. I got but also, though, that's really cute. Dress. Also, though, I look back uh -huh. on our vacation photos. If you don't dress nicely, your vacation your, photos. Your photos look shot, Akiba. If you with my kids, right when I get that, I gotta get them something. But I gotta come with something. So I have these two dresses here. And they don't they wear do. bright colors. And I. Yeah, they wear I'm, neutrals. Yeah, they wear neutrals. And yeah. I'm not even being stereotypical. Like, I looked at, like, yeah. Seoul on Instagram, mm -hmm. like, looking at just random people. And they're yeah. all wearing these muted colors. Yeah. They, so. They're purposely wearing neutrals like that. It's like, I guess it's like respectable or well, I don't know. No, I mean, I guess it's cultural yeah, because cultural. like you wouldn't see that in our culture we wear bright colors. Right, in black culture is the yeah. exact opposite. Right. So I got like that beige, this like brown color and I got it to match my nails, see? Ooh, That's nice. Nails, so, I guess. so these are my basics. So I, what, I'll get two days out of this, two days out of that. That's four. Okay. That's like a very thick coat and I'm bringing a hoodie outfit. So the only thing I need to have to do is find shirts to go with my pants and then the rest of the time I'll be wearing yoga, my yoga stuff. Yeah, so I think these are like basic enough and like switchy switchy enough. I also have this like a jean jacket. So I'm just gonna like wear this black thing with this jean jacket and then I'll probably wear this maybe with this coat over top of it one day. Oh, oh, I have this. This is like a shawl thingy. So I'm gonna be wearing this shawl thingy over top of this one, I guess. It doesn't quite match, but I'll wear this over top of that one day. So hey, I have these you're pants. like purposely wearing Korean fashion. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I just bought this all from the same store. That's so funny. I don't know what Korean fashion is, girl. This is just what was at the store. Hey guys, so this camera is really heavy, but I have to pack right now for Korea. I'm like not even close to that being done. Whoa, these are my clothes, and yeah, it's pretty dirty right now. So 
I'm like packing my whole wardrobe. I have most of my clothes packed in there. I'm folding some clothes up right now. I have some more clothes in there that I might pack. A whole bunch of more clothes up here that I also might pack. And I have to pack like socks and stuff like that. Face wash, hair stuff, body wash, all my facial stuff, some like extra shoes probably. I need like a little bit of extra space. It's obviously gonna be like buying clothes in Korea, like buying a whole bunch of stuff that I wanna be able to take back so I can't like overpack. So I'd probably just take out some of my PJ pants because they're like taking up a lot of space because of how thick they are. I have a decent amount, I have like five pairs. So like, because that's how many I usually wear like over a span of two weeks, but yeah. Got my computer, clothes, clothes, packing, clothes, iPad, hangers. I need to wash my face and stuff and I have a little pimple patch because um, I have a pimple, sadly. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm uh, later. Peace. Are you ready for Korea? You ready for Korea? How about you? Are you ready for Korea? I am ready to focus on my packing. I don't want to overpack. So everything that I think that I'm like putting on my outfits and like making sure like this is an outfit that I'm gonna wear. So I know I have one, two, three, four outfits. I know I definitely have four. Then I'm gonna wear these two things again. So I have five, six, and I'm gonna wear this again. And that's seven. Well, listen, <clears throat> I think that seven outfits is good. And then we have the option to either wash them. No, 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 that's with me already washing. <laughs> that's with me double wearing. Oh, okay, well, let's just expect that you're going to maybe hopefully find something that you would like there. Are you gonna take me out on a date? No, I'm too fat for Korea sizes. I'll probably wear like a Are four Are there plus item. size stores in Korea? Probably, but like, I'm not gonna go seeking them out or anything. I want cheap stuff. I don't want the high boutique in. I don't really want clothes, so. The only thing I would buy is like workout stuff. <laughs> So, say say boutique again. Boutique. <laughs> boutique. That's why I said boutique. 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 We don't want to carry a whole lot. Like I don't particularly want to carry a whole lot. And if we do, I mean, I would rather have a little bit more space rather than trying to have to meticulously pack everything because that gets kind of annoying. Come on, we're gonna put you in his new baby carrier. Wait, he needs his diaper Bobby's. change first, I think. No. Uh -uh, He's changing. good. Did you figure that thing out? I mean, that's how we got, it goes. The, we got the used price tags still on here. That's okay. Let people let me know. I don't buy this. I don't buy this stuff brand new. How much did this originally cost? Double that. It wasn't that much of a good deal. I mean, if they only use it for a certain amount of time. <laughs> now I'm getting all these clothes ready, and I'm gonna Wait, be wearing this. Can you the whole get time. money for um, selling that back? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. How much do you think it will sell back for? Not like twenty dollars. It doesn't fit me well because <laughs> Okay, okay. That's all my baby wanted. That's all my baby wanted. He wants some mama milk. Whose stuff is this? You're not going to have any room to bring. Whose is this? Akali, you're not going to have any room to bring anything it's back. It's just those two jets. What are you just bring back? Clothes, like this lot, there's like lots of stuff there, yes. Kawaii. There's like, yes, kawaii, there's stationery, there's like shoes, bunches of stuff. Yeah, that half and that part, all of that is for... I don't, I, I so have, you're packed? I, I just have those yeah, two big jackets. Yeah, I'm packed, basically. Let's see, she's packed. Look at hers. No, you no, wanna, I just have those two big jackets. Like, you're are, gonna are, are buy gonna some be, pajama I, pants I, I there. Is there going to be um a washer? Yeah, there is. Okay. So we don't need 14 pairs. We only need a week's worth of clothes. Oh, you guys, I forgot. Your your bags also can't be more than 55 pounds. Those? Yes. What about on the way back? Same thing. Why? So that's why you want to pack like going there so you have enough room to bring why? it back. Because they have pack limitations. But the bag already, the, the whole suitcase is already heavy. Yeah. So you have to pack a little bit lighter. Like you don't need to bring a different pair of pajamas for every day. Anyway, when we get there, it's going to be 5 o'clock p.m. their time and it's going to be 12 midnight our time okay. it's going to be the next day it's not even going to be the next okay, day our time yeah, yeah. it's going to be a whole nother day later we're oh, going to get there two days later hours ahead. 16, 16 hours ahead oh, yeah oh. their whole almost whole day so like right now it's tomorrow there and then when we travel backwards it would be the same day like we would travel a whole day but it's going to be the same day here okay, yeah 
And now on to today's sponsor, Morgan and Morgan. In 2020, there were over 5 million car crashes. Now, when I first started driving, I slammed into a car in front of me. My sister was in the car and she was hurt pretty badly. We were on the same insurance policy, but my dad was smart enough to sue his own insurance company in order to cover the cost of my sister's injury. Now, my oldest daughters are learning how to drive and I'm definitely making sure that they know what to do if they are ever in a car accident simple steps like to make sure first that they're okay getting a police report contacting their insurance and getting a lawyer yes you can sue in an accident and know you don't need a lot of money to hire a lawyer injured and don't know where to start with morgan and morgan the process can be easy you can submit a claim in less than eight clicks or less for a lawyer to evaluate your claim for free you can upload photos sign contracts share medical records and even text your legal Legal team throughout the case all on your cell phone if you're ever injured in an accident you can check out morgan and morgan you can submit a claim in less than eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch for more information you can go to for the people.com or dial pound law that's pound 529 from your cell phone you can visit their site by clicking on the link in our description honey i'm home with your own luggage. That's nice. I wasn't gonna let you go all the way to Korea, Joe, without some brand new luggage. Briggs and Rallies. Mm. Shout out to our today's sponsor, Briggs and Rallies. <laughs> That'll be a good sponsorship. <laughs> Let's open this baby up. You know how I like to do it. This is how I oh, always open This is the internet station code. This is how you open bags. Right there. Okay. Yes. Oh. I got what I thought uh, you would like. I didn't get what you told me to get, but I got to the store, I saw what you asked me to get, and I was like, he ain't gonna like that. It's feminine luggage. It looked too okay. feminine with the sparkly stuff you got on it. So instead, look at it, look at it. I got you this. Oh, that's pretty light. Pretty light. It feels a little bit kind of... It's light, light. Yeah, a lot of foam. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I can't get too impressed by it. It's just luggage, you know. It's just luggage? Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's nice luggage, though. The other one looked a bit nicer. You got this from Bloomingdale's. Okay. Fancy. Yeah. It's like a raincoat. Same material. You know, if you don't want it, don't take the don't take the tags off. I'll return it in a quick second if you don't want it. Anything okay. you don't want, uh-uh, keep that tag. Where the tag at? Because if you complain that you don't want it, mm-mm. Is this it? I didn't, With a tag. I didn't complain. With a tag, Joe, and keep this receipt. Uh-uh. And What's I got my receipt, Joyer. Right I here. Like As you guys see, our place is a mess right now. Oh, got my I cannot stuff. believe you put clothes in the shower. Or what? Something. I didn't did do that. Arizona did that. Oh. Those are Arizona's clothes. I told the kids to put their clothes in here oh. to pack. Yeah, she put all this they stuff put, like, in the shower. Like, all yeah, the she had all her clothes all in the shower. Yeah. And Audrey's stuff right here, we gotta do his stuff still. Butters, we didn't do his stuff. Maya, you finished packing at all? Totally, no. yeah, for sure. As you guys can see, I'm the closest to packing. So, I'm almost finished. So, how I like to pack when we're going on a trip with eight kids is I like to go around to each kid individually and just help them pack one by one. So, I just finished up with Audrey. Now, we're going on to Arizo. So we're gonna pack five outfits. Maybe yeah. just no, just fold that one. Fold that one. That's take one. Take the tag off. No, don't take the tag off any clothes. Just in case it's tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. Okay, that's two outfits. Put that in here. Okay. Oh, I don't like the shirt of this outfit. Why? Make sure that they know what they're doing one by one, so that they can learn how to be independent and do it themselves. So I can really see and teach. Wow. This is this a warm why is there like past my clothes in the dirty laundry? You wanna wear these jeans? Or something? So my older girls, they're doing pretty good by themselves. Mommy, I, I don't to, think I have to, yes? I wanted to do this, this, this one for my pajamas. For your pajamas? Yeah. These aren't the cutest pajamas you have though. And I don't have any other cute ones. You have so much cute pajamas, Arizona. Nope. This is a small size 78. This doesn't even fit you anymore, does that it? That does. What will you wear it with? You can't just wear Adidas pants with nothing. I usually wear it with my like, 
one of my short sleeves is shirt. What is going on here, Erzo? That's all the stuff from the laundry room. Well, why did you just throw it in here in a big, huge mess? I was too lazy to put it together and fold it. Right, okay. Well, go get your. I'll go, go grab them your, from the bathroom. And get eight, uh, get seven underwears and seven pairs of socks and put them in your bag. So it's actually the night before, two nights before we leave. But I'm trying to act like tomorrow is the day that we leave. So like we're like staying up late and doing everything now so that we don't think like the next night when it's really that night and we don't stay up all night so you know I don't want any surprises to happen so if surprise we don't have something we still have all day tomorrow but I told everybody we're leaving tomorrow we're leaving tomorrow to get them to think we're leaving tomorrow because they still didn't pack yet so she's repacking right now and then um, hopefully that sense of urgency can get us 90% packed so that tomorrow night we're not going crazy when we actually leave yeah, because there's, there's always something else to do. There's always something else to do. Yeah. Yep. Where are you? Where are you at? Oh, this is broken. Is so that's why I can't use it. Yep. And that stuff ain't coming out of there. Oh. See, there's always something. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. Why? Because we're packing. Just yeah, just put it up against this thing. thing. Yeah, because I still need to um, check the bags one more time. But not right now. No, but later. Are you sleepy? Yes. Don't fall asleep. Keep your eyes open. Shh. Stop. Shh. Audrey, this morning, are you listening to Mama? Mm-hmm. You have to get Butter's passport, okay? So if you want to go to Korea tomorrow, then you need to stay here, okay, with two people. Okay. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do it. You don't want mommy to go? Mommy has to go, okay? I have to go. Okay? Mm -hmm. I know. We're going to be back. We're going to go to the thing so Bubba can fly. Bubba can't fly without a passport, okay? So just lay down until we get back. We're in front of this federal building today trying to get our passports. Not our passport, it's trying to get baby's passport because he was just born. Our flight leaves tomorrow and he does not have a passport and he doesn't have a name. So I am hoping that everything turns out okay and they'll be able to figure something out so I can add his name to my ticket and we can get him going. There's your coffee, Joe. I'll put it right here. Oh, you have your phone in the coffee cup area. He wants some. Change his sleeping pattern. <laughs> there you go, buzz. You don't have no name, but today you might get one. We might name you Butters. Mouthful, yeah. He likes that. You got black eyes, you got brown eyes, Butters. Hmm? Let me see. Okay, so we're here at the passport office and um, they said no name is okay, so I'm wondering what they're going to put on the birth certificate because I need a name to at least get his um, plane ticket something. Sometimes what they do is they take the whatever it says on the birth certificate, so right now it has a, a dash, and then they write out the word dash on the birth certificate. Yeah, so if you have like a symbol as your name, they'll write it out for you. So I'm okay if his name was dash. Little dashy. No, no, no. What? Uh, they might put the name unknown on there. They asked us for a name. I'm gonna say name and butters. Okay, let's see what happens. This is making me irritated now. They didn't give us the passport. The lady at the front desk or you know at the at the booth. She was kind of um, you know, she's one of those types of people. Right. Yeah. And what I mean by what types of those people, basically she wasn't going to give us that passport. She didn't want us to have that passport. She basically went up, I had all the documentation in my hand. And even though I showed her the documentation of what to do when the baby doesn't have a name yet, it even says that on there what you're supposed to do. And you're supposed to literally write unnamed. She was like, how do I know I'm, you're not just going to go out of the country and leave and not come back? I said, you think I'm going to go out of the country and leave and not come back? What does that have to do with me getting a passport? Anyway, once she said 
said that when she was like you know you could just leave out of this country and never come back I was just like okay she's just not trying to give it to us yeah I didn't really get that worked up or anything but I literally stood there for like a good hour talking to her back and forth like the lead lady so she was telling me basically there's no one that's going to give me a passport without the baby having a name mind you he has a name he has a last name so it's not like he has no name he has a last name on his birth certificate with no first name and that's not uncommon for people just to have one name I'm past that I'm past that she gonna do whatever she want to so right now basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to call the password agency hotline to get another appointment at a different office because we went to the LA office and we're trying to go to just maybe the San Diego office because I read online they have better reviews and stuff like that so it's so hard to get an appointment so so basically first of all let me tell y'all this we're not going to Korea tomorrow first thing we have to do is I'm gonna go to the airport and meet up with my sister to try to go change our flight and then the next thing we have to do is get an appointment maybe for tomorrow at another agency so me and my sisters are all just calling the agencies over and over again to try to find another appointment so there's like Hawaii there's San Francisco there's Texas hopefully, hopefully we don't need to go into a different time zone right just to find just to hopefully get a nicer person right exactly so like I know that I can't go back up she was like come back she said come back up here tomorrow first but then she was like never mind you got to call into the agency and make a whole new appointment and so I was like okay this lady is just y'all know when you go to the DMV and they just not trying to help you it was just that type of thing she just didn't want to try to help us so I'm still hopeful that we can get an, I know we're gonna get an appointment and I'm hopeful that when we get there that the people will actually issue the baby a passport I mean he has a last name Joe he does well yeah he does yes he does he has a last name mm -hmm. so you have to take the baby's picture obviously and put his last name on there and his birth date that's how he's identified it's your fault joe you should have named that baby <laughs> and i would have walked out that password yeah, you, agency you with a agree name. On one, though. you should have gave him a korean name what's the baby's name joe <laughs> joe what's the baby's name <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to Korea tomorrow because the baby, we weren't able to get the baby's passport at the passport office today. They refused to give me his passport. Why? Because he doesn't have a first name. Uh, what? You couldn't put A? They wouldn't let me put any. They wouldn't, they're supposed to put unknown. But they wouldn't even do that. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to Wait. Do that. So you see, buying no. them your friends, like. But I want to go to Korea. Not that we're not going to go out all that. We might not be going tomorrow. I know, but like, we should go tomorrow. Because you already made, like, the plane ticket. I know. I have to change it. There's nothing I can do. So I'm excited. He has to have a name. Yes, this is what they said. So I have a paper that I need to get notarized, an affidavit that I need to make to try to get them to accept it. So we'll see. But don't worry about that. Worry about getting your facial. So as I just got her facial, she's done. Oh. Yes. Araba and Akiba are on the phone right now with the passport agencies. I, I have to get an appointment for tomorrow. I have an appointment in Honolulu right now for a passport for tomorrow. In Honolulu? In Honolulu? Yes. You're going to Hawaii? In Hawaii. You're going I, to Hawaii? Maybe. If I, can't, I, if I can't get a passport here, I'll go to Hawaii. I'll try to like get there. Like in the morning? Yes. Yes. All the way to Hawaii? Yeah, but they have an appointment. They have an appointment. I got one. Araba got me one in Honolulu. Are you serious? <laughs> tomorrow. Yes. That could work though. That could work because I can get a flight out of Honolulu easy. Hold on, I keep yeah. texting me. I think she got an appointment. All these people. Okay, I'm here at the airport. We couldn't get the baby's passport on time. So now we're here with Akiba to try to change our flight from tomorrow to another day. We did get two more appointments at the passport agency, got more documents that we needed. So I'm looking for a Cuba, Singapore, business class. There's no one in Singapore Airlines. This must be Asiana over here. There's nothing left. Okay, so there's all these people over here, totally busy. <laughs> this is the only one and there's no one here. <laughs> Yeah. They open at 7.30. So if it says, oh no, open at 19.30. Oh, there's so many people here, Kiba. Elena, I walked here, I was like, oh, forget it. Let me tell her, turn around. We're going to San Diego this morning so that we can stand in the line for our 10.30 appointment. Um, we're driving a bit early so that 
we could be the first one, the first ones, I guess, to um, be in line and maybe get there, get in a little bit earlier than our um, up appointment time. Okay, we got here. We're first in line, standing to wait to get on the elevators. Um, there's nothing you can do until 7.45 because the elevators don't open. We are finished with our appointment. Woo! They accepted the application and uh, it will be ready today at 3 p.m. pickup. And it's fine that he only has a last name. They'll just put last name on there. Her point was literally at 10.30. But she's so snuck in here. Right snuck in All we have to do now is change the flight. The we'll flight change. Uh, like tonight? Or do you tonight? want to? It'll be great. Tonight? I mean, I have we my could laptop, go tonight. So we, can... we can look at it right now. Okay. Moment of truth. Baby boy got his passport. I know. You ready to go on a little trip now, big boy? Big boy. Big boy. Kick your foot if you're ready to go to Korea. We got the passport and now I suppose we're doing like last minute little things for the trip. I'm trying to just get some editing done getting some organization done. And Elena? Well, I am making a baby wrap for the trip. So I just bought this fabric from Joanne Fabrics here. It's a little bit less than five yards. And I'm gonna cut this into half right there. And I'm gonna make two baby wraps because I want something to carry the baby with while we're in Korea. That's not what we already have. Do you remember who sung that? Something people? People crew. People crew. I know all the words to all the songs if I hear them again. I just lost it because hmm. it's been a long time. To what songs? The songs? Appa used to like give me K-pop songs. Really K-pop? Korean hip hop. Korean hip hop songs back in the day. He gave me the whole album of People's Crew. Come on to the bully, go to bully, hey! <laughs> that, that CD was like passed around like all in in our um, classroom. You know that? Was it? Yeah. Nobody listened to it like how I listened to it though. If you could play it, I could sing it. I would remember it. I was just thinking like one day I'll learn it and I'll actually know what I'm. And all of a sudden I'll just sing this song and I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. It's made. Tied in the back, going in the front. Ladies. And so this is how you do this. And then you put your baby inside of here. Okay. I'm going to let in here. Oh, <laughs> you have to carry. Okay. So. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 you know, we have two wraps. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this. This is. Four. Oh wait, let me get. Oh, is you got? She's gonna put it on our suitcases. So I can all tell. So we can all tell what are your luggage is. <laughs> and so we'll all have these blue things hanging off of our luggage. Okay. That kind of looks crazy with those frayed edges. Yep, that is fun. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's fun. Yeah. We'll do this all night. But also, Joe forgot to tell you, we rebooked the flight. We rebook, We had to rebook our flight for um, Sunday. Oh, yeah. So now we're leaving like six days later because of the baby's passport. But we did it. And we're just, we're using this opportunity to edit videos <laughs> and get some work done before we, um, this looks amazing. Wow. Thank you. That looks so good, Joe. If you guys don't know, none of my kids have this, but for the Korea trip, I had some extra ones, and what we're gonna do is when we get to Korea, we're going to put a SIM card inside of it so that they'll have their own for the trip. Azayo? Yes? This is your phone for the trip. <laughs> you like it? 
Yeah. Yes, yeah, so when we get to Korea, we're well, gonna put a SIM. <laughs> well, it doesn't work right now. Oh. Well, it works, but it doesn't work for a phone number. When we get to Korea, you're gonna get a SIM card, and you're gonna put it in there. You're gonna have your own phone number and your own text messaging. But it's, you can take pictures, you can download music and videos for the flight. So here you go. Take good care of it, please. Is it cute? Yeah. Do, 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 do. You do. Oh, maybe we can never get in. Can I get this one to Kylie? Oh, Kylie, why do you keep shutting this door? I'm sorry, I'm like you're doing something in here. Get off that computer I, I and get on your phone for Korea. Cool. Oh. I mean, thanks. Oh, take it back. Take what? It back. No, wait. I don't know what, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> you know, they have to pay for messages like, in Korea? Yeah, you can't. And you, yeah, you I know, I know. And you, and you have to use like WhatsApp or like Messenger and stuff? Mm -hmm. What? I didn't know no, that. You can have a SIM card. No, you don't. No, she's talking about people international. Yeah. International to talk to other people? I was going to put a SIM card in here so I can call you and stuff here. That's it's yours. It's for Korea, so you can it's text for Korea, so us. You can text us. And take because we're yeah, gonna have a day out. So. Is, this, is this a good is this a good camera? Yes, it's a good phone. It's a very expensive phone. Kylie, bring me a small comb. So we are really really trying to get ourselves together this morning. We are leaving tomorrow morning. I got this hair color in my hair and last minute shopping. Our stuff just came in from Amazon. Let's see what we got. Bags that we got for traveling. Travel journal for kids. Here, accessories. You know how we do. Is how I got this cute Hawaii bag. Cute for the trip. Let's pack these little things so what they're gonna get. We have little air clay that they can do on the airplane. A little drawing kit for each person as well. These are little things to put on for a footrest. Kylie's helping me. She's gonna put their headphones in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's Sixteen 20. shades of purple, sixteen shades of orange. Uh, yeah, we don't Mama, need this. Okay, so just bring twenty of them. I just bring twenty of them. You want me to put braids in your hair? Yeah. I don't know if I have enough time. I was trying to do everybody's hair, but I ran out of time. Mommy, um, can I put my hair now? Okay, wait. Well, yeah, I'm almost ready for you to do it. Do you know where you're going tomorrow or tonight? Where are we going? To Korea. Yeah, do you know what Korea is? No. It's the country where our parents are and ancestors are from. And mine? Yes, and your ancestors. And mine? Yep. And the Mayas? Kind of, but not really from being in laws, but not technically. But some of our ancestors are pioneers. 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 Pioneers? Pioneers or pioneers? Yeah. Pioneers, sorry. Pioneers. Pioneers. For something? Yeah. Pioneers. From in Korea? Yeah. Just, no, just any answers. of them. Yeah. Just any of them. Um, that's a good question. Nope. I'm not sure if they're necessarily pioneers. What? I'm your, I'm your ancestor and I'm a pioneer. No, you're not. Yeah, so I was the first black person to do something. That's a pioneer. Isn't it? Mom, oh, if you feel my hair, Mommy I got really So, Arizo was packed first and then Ajidai. Some of the kids are still getting ready in here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. I'm just. Well, I want you to dye my hair like you did. Are you want a do rag? Oh. Not do rag. What's a do rag? A do rag is something that a dude wears around his head to keep it thin. Keep your do, your hair do. Oh, let's see. This is not actually do. a do rag because it doesn't have the part in the back. It's just a hair wrap, right? Yeah. Isn't that how they do 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 rag? They do a do rag like this. They wrap it in the front too. Yeah, they do. But it's supposed to hang in the back. Two girls' hair is done. They're now asleep. Clothes on. Ready to board the plane tomorrow. Super excited these girls are.